Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading 22nd through to the 28th of July 2019 using a couple of decks that I haven't used before. bought these a few months back but didn't use them. Uh, using Tarot in Wonderland by Barbara Moore and the 8 Coins Tarot deck, Tattoo Tarot by uh, Lana Zellner, absolutely stunning decks. We're doing the week ahead check-in, looking at your current self. Modern Spellcasters Tarot we're going to be using for that by Melanie Marquis. The Eight Coins Tarot by uh, uh, for your key goal for the week. Um, key goal for the week. Um, obstacle that you need to overcome. And uh, any accomplishments that you're making in the week, we're using this deck for. And then for uh, what you need to... <laughs> Sorry, my twin sister just sent me a really cool gift. Oh, dear. let me just, sorry about this. Um, so I had to send her a message back because it was the cutest thing. Oh, oh my twin sister's really funny. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, yeah, we're using the, um, that for that. And then what to avoid for the week, what to embrace and where you can find support. We're using the Tarot in Wonderland. Uh, Barbara Moore, okay, and guidance for the week, spiritual guidance answer is simple by Sonia Chiquette, uh, 15 card reading at the end, work, further general stuff and uh, finance, work finance, love and other general stuff, everyday chat in tangent tarot by Poppy Palin and uh, I usually use now actually the Angel Answers, love this deck by Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine, right let's get started, we're going to speed up those shuffles. Okay, here we go. So, Leo. Oh, wow. Is that right? No, sorry, they're the wrong way around. Do apologise. You are the star. You're shining brightly, Leo. You're getting the recognition that you deserve this week. Because that's what stars do. That's why you've got pop stars and film stars. They're people who are highly recognisable. They're very prominent figures. And I think, number one, uh, you're shining brightly. People are recognising you. Some of you guys might be being rewarded this week. The other uh, um, idea for the star card is that we are healing from struggles as well. This is another version of the star. So some of you guys are healing from a problem, from a struggle that you've been enduring for quite some time. Some of you guys are filled with lots of ideas. Can you notice a star above this guy's head? You're filled with lots of ideas and lots of inspiration going forward this week with the star energy. What is the theme of the week? The tower. There's, about, uh, there's a breakthrough happening here. For some of you guys, this could be a spiritual awakening, especially with that star and the tower together. Spiritual awakening. You know, beautiful combination is the star and the tower. Definitely a spiritual awakening for some of you guys this week. Some of you guys, it's all about breaking free from a structure as well. Okay. Some of you guys, the theme of the week might be with the tower energy. Because sometimes the tower is, I'm not being funny out of our control. So sometimes things happen unexpectedly. You know, whether you're getting sacked from your job, I'm not saying you are. But whether you're getting sacked from your job or whether somebody kind of just, you know, you've got a boyfriend, girlfriend, and they dump you out of the blue. That's your tower moment, you know. It's breakdowns, it's chaos, it's things that happen when you don't expect it. It creates a massive shift. And I think that the theme of the week, for some of you guys, it could be a spiritual breakthrough happening here. It could be that there's a bit of chaos that you don't expect. It might be for good. Tower is really, for me, a neutral card. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. You know, uh, it might be that whilst one foundation is crumbling, something is about. But, you know, the thing with the tower is if something's crumbling around you, it really is going to be down to you to start rebuilding it. Because the whole point that things are falling, if you find that things are falling around you, it's so that you can start to rebuild it. Because the foundation that you were, you know, that you were kind of surviving on before, well, it was pointless because it was going to crumble at some point. Uh, and sometimes we do the tower ourselves. We want to break free from somewhere that is very confining and somewhere that is very kind of, you know, dictatorial. And sometimes we want to break out of a mould because this is breaking the mould. So it might be that 
especially if you're healing and you're filled with lots of different ideas this week and you're kind of filled with a lot of inspiration this the week might be about you breaking the mold and doing something completely radical and doing something really different that's the thing with the tarot it's all about looking at these cards in different ways and not always saying oh my god it's the tarot it's terrible it's not a terrible card sometimes it's not nice i won't lie but often it can be very enlightening when this comes this is like spiritual enlightenment a breakthrough as well what is the key goal for you for the week uh strength all right, so your key goal is to have the strength to do something here. And this is about internal strength. Uh, chariot comes before strength card. So the chariot is all about external strength, external power. It's the power to control the situation and bring it into alignment. Strength is all about having personal power, internal power. All right, so this is about the power of thought, the power of mind, mind over matter. So strength would be things like giving up smoking. All right, having the power to give up smoking, the strength, the internal strength to give up smoking, or the internal strength to walk away from a relationship that doesn't serve you. Strength is about patience, tenacity, motivation, dedication, but it's an internal thing. This is personal power. And your goal for the week is to stand in your strength and to have the strength and the power and the, you know, the nerve and the motivation Perhaps for some of you guys, it's to break away from something here and do something that you've always wanted to do with the star energy showing it. What is, a, what is the article that you need to overcome, though? Uh, the Two of Cups, the handshake card. So it might be for some of you guys, the obstacle is, is that you're already in some form of an agreement. Because it's the Two of Cups. Is this? A, yeah, it's the Two of Cups. There's an agreement here. You can see the handshake on the card. It doesn't have to be romantic. Some of you guys might already be in a partnership with someone. The obstacle you might need to overcome is that you're in a commitment with someone. This might be romance, and it might be that the theme of the week is I want to break free from that because, uh, you know, right now I'm the star. I'm in a place of enlightenment. I know exactly it is what it is that I want and exactly what it is that I need to do. Exactly what it is that I need to do. You know? Do you know what I mean? So that might be it. And it might be I need, your key goal is I need the strength to break away from a situation because the star is also clarity. I've got the clarity of what I need to do now. So your strength might be saying here, I need the personal strength because I need to have that strength. I need to have that nerve because strength is all about having the nerve to break away, for example, the article being the partnership from a relationship because I know what I want now. I have a clear vision for the future with the star in terms of what I want. Two very personal cards, strength and star. Personal vision, personal strength, empowerment is strength. But you guys need the nerve to break away from a situation because you're entangled in it. You know, you might want to break away from a job that you're in. Because you now know with the, with the star energy what you want, where you want to go, what you want to do. And it might be that you say, my goal is to have the personal nerve, to, have the, to feel empowered enough to do this. Because I'm in this, you know, I've already signed a contract, for example. And, you know, I just started this job three months ago. But suddenly I've had this kind of epiphany moment with the star energy this spiritual breakthrough that this isn't what I want. There's something you don't want and you want to break away from it, but you need the personal strength to go and do it, uh, Leo. Uh, what are you accomplishing? Oh, my God, see? This is why I use different decks, because I like to see what shows up. You're accomplishing your goal. Some of you guys should accomplish this goal because the star, you've got the star here and the star here. Some people say, well, why do you use different decks? I love it because I like to see what repeats itself in a reading. Because if it repeats itself, Leo, it's got added significance. So the star is what you're accomplishing. You know, the star is what you're accomplishing. In other words, you're very much nearing your goal or you're accomplishing that goal. Basically, uh, this week. Okay, uh, what do you need to avoid? Not doing anything, four of swords. Four of swords is not taking any action, still contemplating. Still saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Let me think about this a bit more. You 
you know. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I still need, you know, whatever. I just need time. I need time to think about it. Also, the Four of Swords is not taking any action. It's just sitting there doing nothing. That's what you need to avoid. You need to continue doing whatever this is. Because the accomplishments is saying that you're going to be accomplishing a goal by the end of the week if you carry on doing this. Despite, you know, I know that for some of you guys, commitment that you're already in, a handshake, you've shaken on something or you've committed to something or this is a relationship and you're kind of like, fuck, I need to have the strength. My goal is that I feel empowered enough and I've got the nerve to break away from this thing because I have a clear vision of where I want to be. And the universe is saying, well, yeah, you are accomplished that. Because it's in your accomplishment section, the star. You could accomplish it. But you won't accomplish it if you just sit back and do nothing with the Four of Swords and say, let me just take a minute and think about it, what, whether I want to do this or not. You're losing your nerve with the Four of Swords. Um, the world is what you need to embrace. You've got these beautiful cards, Leo. Seriously, it's one of the best readings I've done for you. You've got such good cards. The world, again, two cards showing up accomplishment, world and star. You need to embrace that you are going to achieve big things. You're going to achieve, you know, if you've got a vision, for example, to set your own business up and you want to break away from the, you know, working for someone, you've already kind of signed a contract three months ago and you're, you know, you're doing work for someone, for example. I'm just going to throwing out examples out there and you're doing work for someone and then you say, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, and then you say, oh, uh, well, uh, um, I've just discovered with the star energy, I re now realise I've had this kind of spiritual breakthrough that actually I want to run my own business. And you say, shit, I feel really bad, I'm going to let down this company. Uh, but I need to have that nerve. I need to feel empowered enough and strong enough to say, look, I'm leaving, you know. The universe is saying that you need to embrace, you, you know, avoid this not doing anything and just sitting back and saying, ah, I'll think I'll do it tomorrow or let me let me just think about it and take no action and you need to embrace this. Well what if you did break free? Look where you could be. You could you could experience the world. And also um, embrace the idea that you are protected because the world means protection. No harm is coming to you on this, alright? No harm will come to you as well with that world energy. But also embrace the idea that you could achieve amazing things if this is what you wanted to do. Uh, where to find support if you need it? The sun. From yourself, probably. <laughs> From your children. Because this is your card, your Leo, so that's your major. So the support that you need or where you can find it is from yourself because you're the one that's in control of the situation. You're born leaders, so take the lead. Find support in your own belief system, in your own ego. Ego can be good if it's used in the right way. Some of you guys need to find support from your children or from, you know, somebody who can show you or shed some light on the situation or give you some clarity with that sun energy showing there. Uh, and what's the spiritual advice for the week? Oh, my God, look. See, be courageous. Just be courageous. It's telling you to have courage. The readings, sometimes, a lot of the time when I do these readings, some of the readings, I mean, they all kind of come through. Some are harder than others to kind of get the lowdown on. But overall, overall, this, you know, sometimes when you get a reading like this, it's so clear in what the message is, it's unreal. So just be courageous. There's no time to have fear. And that courage, strength means courage as well. And that's your goal, to be courageous enough, to, feel, to have the nerve, to feel empowered enough to take control and say, look, I'm leaving. Or I don't want to do this anymore. I know that I shook on it. Or I know that we've been in a relationship for a time and we've been partners and we said that, I'd have said that I'd always stick here. But, you know, I realise now with the star that I want to do my own thing and I want to break away. I've had this major epiphany that there's something else that I need to do here. And you could accomplish this by the end of the week star energy you could achieve the goal of that but you need to avoid just sitting back and doing nothing and saying oh I'll, and also for a source because swords represent communication it means saying nothing you need to avoid saying nothing you need to say something because you need to embrace that you're going to achieve what you need to achieve and also if you do say something you are protecting no harm is going to come to you do you understand so be courageous all right let's do your 15 card reading and we're going to shuffle on those
Let's have a look. Other energies coming in, Leo. Two of Wands. You may face a decision this week coming up because Two of Wands is a decision between two paths. Some of you guys, though, might be investing or looking into a partnership, perhaps, because the Two of Wands can be a partnership. But there is only potential with that Two of Wands, okay? So you might be looking in the, into the potential of the partnership with the Two of Wands energy. Some of you guys might be setting a new plan with that Two of Wands energy showing up here with friends. Okay, you're either at a crossroads concerning a friendship or you are setting new plans ahead. This is partnership, the two of wands. There's potential for a business partnership. It could be with friends or you're setting some new plans or intentions with friends or you could be at a crossroads with friends. But this is usually the career card, the two of wands, and this is friends. So you got, you might be talking with friends about kind of like a business idea or a business plan or a collaboration together. Uh, Ace of Swords, I'm seeing a lot of communication coming in with these friends. Ace of Swords, energy showing here. Uh, five of Cups in the reverse, healing. I think through talking, you're going to heal a situation, especially if there's, you're at a crossroads concerning a friendship. I think through talking with the Ace of Swords, energy showing there, you're going to be able to heal the situation with that Five of Cups, energy showing here. Uh, yeah, Queen of Cups. Okay, this could be the friend as well. Queen of Cups could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, doesn't have to be. But I do feel that some of you guys are at a bit of a crossroads concerning a friendship. I think that you are going to be talking and through talking you're going to be healing the situation. All right, this could be with this person, a really good friend. Doesn't have to be a water sign, but this is someone who you're kind of engaging in chatter with. Um, let's have a look at your love situation, Leo, for some of you guys. We've got an emperor, all right, the very important person. Could be an Aries around you. Let's have a look. Seven of Cups. There's a person around you who I think is looking at other options. Because you've got an Emperor and then you've got that Seven of Cups. And this could be a person looking at other options with that Seven of Cups energy around you. Uh, page of Coins. One of those options could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you're a female, she's usually a female. Could be a younger female. So there could be somebody around you who's looking at other options. This might... Um, I'll read it two ways. This might be a younger female. So this man, man, male, female, whoever this emperor is, is looking at other options. Could be with somebody new and somebody younger. Sorry. Uh, could either as well be this person might be looking at options. Uh, one of those options might involve proposal. Page of coins can be a proposal. Uh, no, I think this is a player. I've got a devil sitting in here, which is the card of the cheat and the liar, unfortunately. Um... No, I don't like these cards. I'm sorry, I really don't like this, these cards. Some readers, you can read the devil as commitment. Uh, you can. I mean, we'll read it two ways, but I don't really like the devil in this reading. I just feel uncomfortable with it sitting there. I think, number one, some of you guys, it might be you're involved with somebody who looks at other options. This emperor looks at other options. It could involve a younger person that they've been grooming. I don't mean like child abuse or anything. I mean, you know, when we talk about grooming someone, you're trying to seduce them. And the devil is the card of seduction. If you look at him, he's got a spliff in the hand. He's got money. You know, he's trying to seduce probably. And also the hand being held out. I reckon the hand being held out to that page, to that young girl there, is this guy's hand. I reckon that this person is paying this girl, and this is this person here. They're the emperor. So this person is kind of like looking at different options. I might also be looking around on the internet, in the cloud, Seven of Cups energy, online dating. So this might be if you're married and you've got suspicions, maybe there's somebody who's doing a bit of online dating here, uh, Leo, and they are paying, perhaps. I'm not saying they're paying someone, but they're kind of seducing, getting the impression that they're seducing someone here. This person isn't very serious, not a cup for pleasure. Nine of Cups is pleasure. They might be trying to seduce someone for sex or pleasure or that type of thing with a Nine of Cups. Sorry to read it like that. The, the nicer way to read it, I guess, is that there's someone around you who's looking at uh, their options. Possibly they want to propose to you. They want to commit to, you know, a nice contented relationship, that type of thing. But I don't really, my instinct is that you've got somebody around you who goes online. And uh, th th this online as well, this might not be a person, it might be they go online and they pay installments. Page of Cup Coins is paying in installments for pleasure with that Devil and the Nine of Cups. Not a good combination when it comes to love because these are pure pleasure cards. There's no love with either of these cards. Pure pleasure. So there might be somebody around you in love who's going online and they're paying installments. So this online could be your online dating and they're paying in installments every single month to go online and seek pleasurable things. You know, so this is kind of talking to people and pretending that they're this, that and the other. 
it, I don't like it. So just be careful of that, that you're not involved with someone who's doing that and who's deceiving you. You know, if you walk into the room and they always put down the computer, you know, the computer lid and everything, I think you need to be careful of that. Um, for work, page of one. So there might be some opportunities, training, uh, possibly to explore some new form of a creative adventure. Sometimes a page of ones is kind of going to auditions and, you know, so the kind of the actress and the singer and that type of thing. But I think that you're exploring. Uh, Four of Swords, though, taking a break. I think that some of you guys are kind of with this page of ones, really kind of excited to explore probably taking some time out or taking a break from the work that you do. Uh, probably you want to explore something more creative, like creative writing. So I think that you're excited to kind of take a break from the work that you do at the moment uh, for some of you Leos this week and possibly invest in something like creative writing or maybe doing something with the tarot perhaps, learning learning something new, but it's going to be creative or it's going to be something that's mystical with that page of cups energy showing there. Yeah, and you've got these all these pages this is the explorer. There's definitely learning coming in here for some of you guys. I, I think you want to take a break. I'm seeing you guys wanting to take a break from your work. Okay, and you're definitely looking to explore something creative. Uh, Page of Swords is do a course. So you might want to do a course with the Page of Swords in creative writing with the Page of Cups. Definitely looking to take a break from your work and maybe do a course on creative writing and that type of thing. Um, High Priestess, you might be wanting to do something in tarot as well. All right, so you might want to do kind of like a beginner course, Page of Cups Energy in Tarot, High Priestess. So some of you guys wanting to just explore taking a little bit of a break with that Four of Swords Energy or taking a holiday or maybe taking a week or two off work. And uh, I'm seeing you guys either kind of doing a course in creative writing or you might be doing uh, a beginner course, Page of Cups, a beginner course, Page of Cups, Page of Swords in the Tarot or some form of mystical art. Or as quickly get Leo what your uh, what the angels have to say to you. Universe for it. What is a uh, what is the angel advice this week? What is the angel advice this week for Leo? And I, I usually just draw the cards until they don't make sense anymore. Meditation is going to bring answers to you, okay? And then it's saying no. Wait. So meditation is going to bring answers. And no. So it's almost like it's saying that you're thinking of doing something, Leo, but you need to wait. No, it's got an explanation mark. So meditation will bring answers. No, you need to wait. Okay? And look for a sign. All right? That's what it's saying to you here. Okay? Um, it says it's up to you. So we'll put these at the top. It's up to you, Leo. There we go. It's up to you, but there's something better out there, okay? And yes, you do need to let go, all right? So that's your angel answers, your angel advice for you this week, Leo, okay? Meditation is going to bring you answers, and no. So if you're thinking of doing something, it's saying no, wait and look for a sign, okay? Because it's up to you. But then, then again, it's saying, well, wait, no. If you're going to do something, no, wait, look for a sign, However, it's saying it is up to you, but there is something better out there. And yes, you do need to let go. All right. That is your reading for the week, guys. I love you loads. Take care. Bye-bye.